This spicy, creamy coconut chicken is an absolute belter of a midweek recipe, super easy to make, high in protein, cooked all in the one pan and absolutely delicious. We're going to make a very quick and easy marinade for the chicken. So first off, we're going to slice the chicken nice and thin and then we're going to add some cayenne pepper, dried thyme, allspice. Now, if you don't have allspice, that is fine. You might not have it if you don't do much baking. Typically, it's used in sort of like spicy fruit loaves and so on, but it's a mix of like cloves and cinnamon and it's really, really good for this recipe. Add in the others, what we've got olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, and so on. And then all you're going to do is just mix all that through. Now, with most marinades in general, the longer up to like 24 hours that you leave it, the better. But I mean, if you don't have a lot of time, just mix all this through and then pop it in the fridge for about half an hour while you do the rest of your prep. To be honest, the rest of your prep is pretty minimal. All you're going to do is just chop up an onion and a chili pepper. If you don't want the heat, you can leave out the chili or you could use just like a, a bell pepper, like a green or red pepper instead. But I like the heat that you get from this chili. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but I've got a super quick favor to ask. If you could either click like, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this recipe or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It has got absolutely nothing to do with my ego. It just means that if you interact with this video in some way, YouTube is more likely to show it to others so that more people get a chance to cook my recipes. Thanks in advance. Now back to the recipe. When you're ready to cook the chicken, you're going to heat a large frying pan on a medium to high heat with some oil. And we're going to cook the chicken until we get some nice color on the outside. It doesn't need to be fully cooked through at this stage, but we want it to be about like 90% cooked through. I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful color, juicy and yummy. Remove it from the pan and just set aside. And then in the same pan, we're just going to add that onion and chili and fry that for about well, up to five minutes until it softens and it starts to look a bit like that. Add in your equal measures of garlic and ginger. As always, I'm using just a puree from the jar because that is much easier for prep. I've got a link to the one I use in the description below. And fry that for a further 30 seconds before adding in your coconut milk along with some lime juice, a little bit of paprika to help give it some color, and then some pepper as well. Now, I'm not using light coconut milk because I prefer the creamier texture, but if you really want to drop the calories down, you could use a light coconut milk, that's fine. Season it with salt, stir it through, add that chicken breast back into it, make sure it is nicely coated in the sauce, and then we're just going to give that a simmer for about 10 minutes or so to allow the sauce to thicken up and allow the chicken to fully cook through, and it should look something like this. I mean, how good is that? Then when it comes to playing up, give it a squeeze of some lime juice and some coriander. This goes really well with rice and other veggies. And anyway, thank you so much for watching this recipe video. If you want the full recipe, you can get it in my new book and you'll find the link to get it in the description below. See ya!